Thank you. Uh, so good morning everyone, my name is Morag Munro and I'm here representing a project submitted by Maynooth University's Centre for Teaching and Learning. Uh, also here with me today from the Centre for Teaching and Learning are Dr Alison Farrell and Dr Una Crowley um, and also involved in the project and uh, not here today are Dr Catherine Mahan and Lisa O'Regan. <coughs> So our project title is Aligning Maynooth University's Accredited Teaching and Learning Programmes with the National Professional Development Framework. Um, we have submitted this as a single partner initiative. We did um, place careful consideration on whether we could submit this as a collaborative <coughs> initiative and indeed in Maynooth we have a strong track record of collaboration, past collaboration on projects. <coughs> But on balance, we decided that in this case, it was best to work as a single partner project. And that's because we feel that if the framework is going to be successfully rolled out across the sector, then each individual institution is going to have to really find its own way, its own means to implement the framework. Um, that said, we're certainly not going to work in isolation. We will, throughout the project, collaborate with stakeholders across the sector and in particular we're really looking forward to hearing the rest of the presentations today and looking at areas where we can collaborate and dialogue with other colleagues in other projects. So in essence the project has three main aims. First of all we will benchmark our existing accredited provision in teaching and learning and those are our professional certificate in teaching and learning for tutors and demonstrators and our postgraduate diploma in higher education. We'll benchmark those two programmes against the framework. We'll then work to redesign both of those programmes so that they align with the professional development framework. And as an outcome of that process, we are going to develop a professional, professional framework alignment toolkit. And we think that that will be very useful to other colleagues in other institutions who wish to align their programmes with the framework. So we anticipate the project will run from January 2017 through to June 2018. So the first phase of the project will be establishing the project and also working towards benchmarking our current offerings. So in the first instance, we'll establish our project team, including any necessary recruitment, and we'll also develop and refine our project plan, our project schedule. Another key piece of work that we'll do in the first phase will to be to up upskill our key stakeholders in the project. Um, and one way that we think we might do that is to work with one of the National Forum's framework experts and perhaps collaborate to develop a masterclass on the framework for our stakeholders. The next key piece of work in the first phase of the framework will be to develop our mapping matrix. Um, now we're not quite sure what that will look like at this stage, but that is in essence um, going to be a significant part of the project is developing <laughs> that up. And then once we've done that, once we have a draft, we will conduct our mapping or benchmarking exercise to identify if and how our current offerings align with the framework and also to identify any gaps. So the next phase of the project will be the redesign of the two programmes in line with the framework. So the first phase in that will be looking to find an appropriate curriculum design model um, for redesigning the programmes. And then we'll work towards redesigning and aligning both programmes. And in that we'll be looking at our programme learning outcomes, our module learning outcomes, the curricula, and also our learning, teaching and assessment approaches and looking to align those with the framework. And as we do that, we will incorporate opportunities for our programme participants to develop and also demonstrate their competencies, competencies in relation to the framework. And as part of that, we anticipate that our participants will be supported to develop a professional teaching and learning portfolio. And that is the means by which they would evidence their learning in relation to the framework. So in the next phase of the project, we'll be rolling out our um, realigned programmes. And in that phase, we anticipate there'll be significant dialogue and discussion with our programme participants. 
Also in that phase, we'll work towards developing our draft toolkit. And in the development of that, we will be engaging in significant dialogue with key stakeholders, um, both within Maynooth University, um, but also externally. So looking at student feedback, the National Forum, and also key to this stage, we will be dialoguing with other higher education institutions offering similar programs and looking at how they can support us and help us develop a framework that can be used not only by Maynooth, but also by other institu institutions. The final stage of the project will be the refinement of our toolkit. Um, so we'll build in the stakeholder feedback that we've received and develop the final iteration of the toolkit. Also supporting the toolkit will be a number of use case examples. So the first of those will demonstrate how, a, a case study really, how Maynooth redesigned and aligned its programmes with the framework. The other cases will be individual cases and they will demonstrate how individuals at different stages of their careers have worked towards aligning their existing and also any planned CPD with the framework. So those will depend really on the cohort that we have in the two programmes in the academic year 2017 to 18. But we anticipate we might, for example, have maybe one early career <coughs> academic a couple of mid-career academics, and then maybe one academic support staff, so for example, a librarian or an educational developer. So those would be the, the different cases um, that we might develop. And then, of course, in the final stages, we will be very focused on de disseminating the outcomes of the project, um, both within the university, community, com university and IoT community in Ireland and also beyond. In terms of consultation, we anticipate that the project will be highly consultative throughout um, and we'll be consulting with our past, prospective and current programme participants, also within Maynooth with our senior management, our HR personnel, with the National Forum and also with students. And I'll talk a little bit more about the student perspective and how we will bring that in in a moment. Also in terms of the programme redesign, we anticipate that we'll use a, a very programme focused approach so again bringing in input from all of our key stakeholders and then in particular when we're looking towards the development of our, our, our toolkit we anticipate that we will develop or establish an expert reference panel to um, advise us in the development of that and in that grouping we might include for example representation from the LIN network and um, perhaps representatives from other centres for, teach centers for teaching and learning, representation from a forum expert um, and again student representation. So again looking at the student perspective, um, although this is not a directly student facing project, we do anticipate that the student voice will be heard throughout the process. So for example, when we're looking at the types of competencies that staff will be expected to demonstrate in relation to this framework, we'll talk to students perhaps through brainstorming sessions, focus groups and so on, to get their feedback on that as to how they see that might impact on their learning. And we'll use that feedback from students to further um, shape what we're doing in terms of our staff development activities in the two programmes. Um, another way in which the student voice will be active her actively heard in the project is that because one of the programmes is focused on postgraduate students, um, so our professional certificate in teaching and learning for tutors and demonstrators is a programme for postgraduate students. So by very es its very essence, the student voice is going to be uh, very much to the fore in the alignment and redesign of that particular programme. So impact and sustainability was really the last thing that we were asked to look at and I think in terms of impact the successful alignment of our programmes with the framework will be proof of concept really for the implement implementation of the framework in an institutional context. We also hope that the alignment toolkit that we develop, develop will be a very useful and very practical resource for other higher education institutions who wish to align their programmes with the framework. And we'll also obviously be disseminating our work throughout the sector, both in Ireland and also beyond through publications, presentations and so on. So that's 
really concludes the formal part of our presentation today, but we would be very delighted to take any questions that you might have about the project proposal.